Hi, I'm Dr. Kam Sashteva. I'm a pediatrician in Phoenix, practicing for the last 13 years. I came to Phoenix in 2006 and joined a community health center funded by the federal government. I worked there for eight years before I started my own practice in 2014 in North Phoenix as Moon Valley Pediatrics. I have worked with the pediatric patients for more than 25 years, not just nationally, but outside America, mostly in India. I have seen all kind of pediatric patients from infections to chronic diseases. But the currently, what we are seeing now is a true crisis, the opioid crisis. I'm compelled to talk about it because I think this is the most important national crisis and emergency in America. And Arizona is also one of the leading opioid epidemic state. Before we talk about opioid crisis, let's talk about what is opioid. Opioid is opium-like substance, which is medically used for various reasons, mainly pain relief, anesthesia, and other uses like uh, prevention of diarrhea. Opioid has a side effects of itching, sedation, nausea, and respiratory depression. With increasing use of opioids in last two or three decades, it has led to increasing dependence and tolerance to this substance, which is currently responsible for one of the major reasons of opioid crisis. The economic burden of opioid crisis is close to $100 billion in America. Arizona state is one of the leading state where opioid crisis has reached to epidemic level. There are close to 1,000 deaths every year, more than 1,000 deaths actually, every year reported because of opioid crisis, which is increasing with each year. Now we all wonder when the opioid crisis started and how it started. It may be the pharmaceutical companies misleading the addiction about the opioid substance during 80s. It's not just the one reason, even doctors using opioids rampantly uh, and prescribing for even minor pain relief without any control or increasing use of recreation purpose. But we can talk about it later. Right now, we need to focus on how to prevent it, how to win this battle of opioid epidemic, which is killing thousands of Americans each year. As a primary care pediatrician, I have seen more number of patients, not just from the group homes or foster care, but from the regular families who are suffering with some kind of drug abuse. It's heartbreaking to see that this epidemic not starts in very early teenage, even at the age of eight to 10 years when the first use of opioid or opioid-like substance has been. Although opioid addiction or any drug addiction is most commonly recognized and treated uh, during uh, early adulthood when they are 
uh, more than 18 or 20 years old. But shockingly, this addiction starts in very early in teenage, even at the age of 8 to 10 years. And it's heartbreaking that these kids are into opioids and other drugs without even the knowledge of the parents. Most of the time parents do not know that their kid has addiction until they have had it for more than three or four years. And by the time it's too late for them to intervene, by the time full-blown dependence has developed, which is very hard to treat. Even if they are treated, even if they are sober, they revolve back. It's kind of a revolving door. Every time they go out and they come in, only very few, one or two person remain on the other side of the door. Most of them revolve back. So as a pediatrician, it's very important for us to be aware of this crisis since it starts in the early age and they have the responsibility, not as a pediatrician, but as a responsible citizen too, to help the community to battle this crisis. The reason I'm here to bring this conversation, not only in every pediatric office in Arizona, but in every household who have kids. It's as a responsible citizen and the pediatricians, I want every pediatrician in Arizona should be talking to the parents during the well visit about this crisis and giving them the resources and more knowledge to look for the sign and symptoms of early drug abuse and how to manage that. With this intention, we are going to go forward to bring startling facts and more about the opioid crisis next time. Watch us.